Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam and today we are going to look at a very new update on document understanding. Yes. So this new update or you can say a new release is released with UiPath Community 2023.4 stable release. And if you know, or if you're a regular user of Forum, you might have already seen the post, which is posted by Loredana, Nak, which is UiPath Document Understanding as a Service. It was literally published yesterday, and this has been available for a public re review, a uh, public preview yesterday. So let's see how we can use that. And I hope you're already interested in using this feature. So Monica has given very precise steps and exactly how we can use this service. So thank you so much, Monica, for this one. And let's try to see if we can replicate this and if we can create a demo for document understanding as a service. And for this one, we'll use invoices model. But before that, let's start from scratch what all you need and what you can do. So there's a whole documentation of UiPath document understanding. And in the documentation of UiPath document understanding on the docs of UiPath, if you just scroll below, you can see document understanding as a service via REST API. The new documentation is all available. So you can simply go through documentation and you can create this. Also, I will soon launch or publish an article about it. So you can read the article on my LinkedIn and you can actually replicate it by step by step if you are an article reader. Perfect. Let's get started. All you have to do is just navigate to the automation cloud. Okay. Now, in the beginning, we have to create an external application. To create an external application, uh, what you have to do is let's navigate to the admin. In the admin, you can see external application here, right? Just click on it. And as you can see, I already have the service enabled, which is document understanding as a service, right? I can delete this so that I can show you fresh how we can create it. I deleted this one. Let's click on add application. Okay. Now you can give any name. So I just gave DU as a service and you can keep it confidential application. You don't have to add any redirection URL for it. Click on add scope. And from the application scope, sorry, from the resources, you just have to click here. You can see all the rest services available. Rest API services available of particular applications of UiPath, for example, test manager, platform management, orchestrator API. You have to select document understanding, which is very new here, right? So just click on document understanding. Select all. However, you have to unselect the option of document manager because it's still not available as a service via REST API. So just uncheck this one, click on save. And then without adding any redirect URL, just click on add. And that's it. Now, this information is very important. So just copy this information, which is app ID, app secret. Please don't use mine because <laughs> I will eventually delete this. So I just paste it here in the notepad so we can refer this later and close. Perfect. Now that we have created external application to use document understanding as a service, all you have to do is enable the document understanding service for your particular tenant if you don't see this product on your cloud account. So how do you do that? All you have to do is just go to the admin and click on your accounts and groups. Uh, I believe it is in the services. So let's see licenses, robots and services. So you can see it here. If your service is enabled, you can see trial services. You can enable any one of this by clicking on start trial right here. Also, <clears throat> you can check whether you have document understanding as a service enabled or not by clicking here and by checking in the more products. So once you have the DU service enabled, just click on document understanding. Now, the best part about document understanding as a service, it not, it not only uses the predefined uh, endpoints, which are pre-trained models of document understanding, but also it uses the newly trained or custom trained models, <clears throat> which you have trained on AI Center and uh, using as a document understanding model. You can also leverage those models to predict or to extract information from the documents via REST API. Isn't that great, right? So how to use this? On the document understanding page, you have your REST API option. Just click here and click on the framework. The moment you click on framework, you will navigate to the Swagger UI. Now click on authorize because you need to authenticate first. And it demands app ID and client secret. Voila, we just had 
copied, we just have copied this information from the previous step. Let's copy it and paste it here in the client ID. Copy the app secret and let's copy this line, paste it here in the client secret. And that's it. Just click on authorize. And the moment you see authorized, that means your authentication is successful and you don't log out, just simply close this. That's all. The moment you're authorized, you can see the lock here. And now you can use all these APIs of document understanding. Amazing, right? You can use this APIs uh, on, uh, what is it called, Postman as well. However, just to demonstrate, I will demonstrate it on Swagger UI, okay? Now let's begin with discovery. So in the discovery, if you use this API, you will understand and you will get list of all the models that are available for you on your particular instance, right? So just click on try it out. And I don't change anything here. I'll just click on execute and see if it's success. Yeah, it is success. The code is 200 and you can see the output. It is showing me all the models which are currently deployed. For example, forms AI, you can see passports, you can see invoices, and you can see a generic one, which is with the 0000 ID. So if you go to document understanding, you can see passports, forms, AI, and invoices. It is showing me all the projects that I have already published, right? So just let it be a generic ID, and we can check the next API, which is going to be the digitization. So once you select or you identify what all different models you have, then Next, let's go to digitization and let's digitize the document. So click on post. This is the post API, obviously, because you have to upload a document here, right? Click on try it out. And then let the project ID be as it is. If you want to select a specific project, you can copy the project ID from the previous API response from here. And you can paste the project ID in this one, in the digitization project ID field. But if you don't want to, Let's use classification and find it out, okay? So click on file upload and choose the upload file, which is a sample invoice. So I'll show you this invoice. I just uploaded a sample invoice and I have not selected any project ID here. So in the classification, it should automatically detect that this is an invoice. This is an invoice, okay? So let's see, I click on execute and here what happens? I get a response, which is success and I get a document ID here. So I'll just copy this document ID, which is a very, very important because this is like a document object model. So I just say doc ID, I'll paste it here. Now, once you have the doc ID, now you can try other APIs like classification, extraction, and validation. So the classification step you can skip, you can directly extract also, if you already know the, which model you're going to use, but if you want, you can check which model it automatically detects via classification. So let's click on post, click on try it out. And here, all you have to do in the classifier ID, uh, sorry, in the request body, you just have to paste the document ID that you gave in the previous, that you uh, got as a response in the previous API of the digitization. Just click on execute. And then you will see the document type ID is automatically detected as invoice, which is great. So I just copy this document type ID and you also get a document ID, right? You get certain confidence, which is 78%, which is accurate almost. So it automatically detected that the document which I have uploaded is an invoice. If I upload passport, obviously it will automatically detect that it is passport. I will show you that in a while. So just scroll below and go to extraction. And in the extraction, let's click try it out. And now you have to, so you can see in extractor ID, it automatically reflected invoices. You can change this to the project ID, which you copied. And again, you need document ID. So let's copy the document ID. Document ID remains same post your digitization. So just make sure that you follow the step. And then let's go ahead and hit execute and see if it extracts our information or not. Perfect. So once it executes, you can see the code is 200. That means the extraction is successful. Just copy this. Let's go to the notepad and create a new notepad and paste our response here. And let's verify if the data is extracted accurately or not. So there's a huge extraction. You can anytime deserialize this JSON and find out the information. All I have to do is just open the sample invoice. And now in the sample invoice, as you can see, I have a couple of information like, uh, for example, it's a bill two is two quotes square New York and Y1220. So let's search if it has found this information, okay? 
in the response. So it is NY12210. I'll just say NY12210. And it has found this information extracted as vendor address, which is exactly accurate, right? So it has given vendor address. So even the value is in unformatted and formatted value format, just like what we get in extract uh, after export extraction results, right? Which is great extraction. Let's see if it has found out the total amount, which is 154.06. See, 154.06. And yes, it has found this amount, which is total amount. Also, it has given us unformatted value with the dollar symbol as well. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> so this is how document understanding as a service or document understanding as a REST API service works. Right now we have just extracted one invoice and we have seen how this works. You can deselect this document of JSON as you want and you can now use document understanding completely as an exclusive product without having to use this within UiPath Studio. Isn't it wonderful? Now that you know how it works, let's try with a different document, okay? So let's go back to our digitization step and let's choose a file of passport. So I will select some random passport picked up from internet and I'll upload, I'll say execute. It has successfully executed. It has given me a document ID. So I'll just copy this document ID. Okay, paste it here uh, as a passport. There's a small difference you'll notice. It looks same, but it's same, obviously. It's a new document ID. Copy this and let's try to classify. So upload this document ID in the classification API and execute. And you will find the result as document type ID detected as password. Isn't this great? So we did not give any kind of a project ID in the classification step if you know, right? The project ID is the default one, but it's still automatically detected that we have uploaded a document of password with 98% of accuracy. Isn't that wonderful, right? This is amazing. So you can use this. APIs any uh, like in any component or any product where you can leverage these APIs and you can leverage document understanding product as a service. So there are a couple of things that you should know uh, are all there in this documentation like metering charges. Currently, obviously it is, it is charging AI units for consumption, uh, but as you can see, I, it's a public preview. So I'm using it for free. Uh, there are certain limits and quota to it. So supported documents are PNG, JPG, PDF, and TIF documents. There is a size limit also as it's a synchronous extraction. So for synchronous extraction, the maximum uh, limit of the pages is five pages per document. And limit for a synchronous extraction is around 150 MB document, right? But I think uh, limited, the asynchronous execution is currently not in operation, but yeah, you can still try it out. And if you want to know more about it, you can simply go here and you can try it all the steps. However, you can also read my document or article, which I'm soon going to publish about it. I hope you loved this video and I hope you learned something new, how to use document understanding as a REST API. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much, Monica, for this amazing detailed documentation on Forum. And thanks to your community. Happy automation.